Streaming with RGB lights has become a popular trend for a lot of streamers in the last couple of years, including myself. With plenty of lighting options such as Nanoleaf, Philips Hue, Beam, and many other products, it's hard not to be tempted to invest into some lighting for your camera background. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make your smart lighting react with streaming events such as alerts and chat commands, just like this. So the application we're going to be checking out today is called Lumia Stream. This program will allow us to integrate Twitch chat or YouTube chat to communicate with our smart lighting. So that might mean if someone triggers an alert or a chat command, we can set up a custom lighting animation or a color if it gets triggered. So there's a lot we can do with Lumia Stream. But first we're going to jump into the settings and go through some of the settings. A few options we have here, there's a few things we can press in. We're just going to go down the list as we go. So first we're going to check out default. Now default means uh, what color we have at the moment. So kind of like a static color or the default color. So this will mean whatever color we have at the moment, it'll stay at that. So if we have an animation, we can set that to an animation, which we'll get into soon. Um, we can add themes, we can add scenes, we can add certain colors to keep it at a certain color. So the next one we're going to be checking out is called connections. Uh, this is where we connect up our accounts and our smart lights to the application. So first we probably want to click on platforms and connect our required platforms that we want to add. So as you can see here, we have Twitch connected. We can also add services as well. So we can connect Streamlabs, uh, Stream Elements, Streamlabs OBS and OBS. Now we're going to click on lights. Uh, this is where we can connect up all our lights uh, to the application. So I'm just going to move my camera down here so we can see everything here. Um, so as you can see, these are all the lighting services that we can connect with the application. As you can see, there's quite a lot of options that we can choose from. You can also connect Razer to the application. So if you have a keyboard or a mouse or a mouse pad that has RGB on it, uh, this can communicate with the application as well. Uh, as you can see here, I have Hue and Nanoleaf connected. It can also connect up to power switches or pretty much any like smart lighting device uh, that these applications use. The next one we'll be checking out is called Devices. Uh, this is where we can connect maybe a Stream Deck uh, to the application or our Elgato Key Light as well and uh, other smart devices. So last of all, we're going to be checking out Extended. Uh, this is where we can add like charity uh, links to our stream. Uh, we can have a Patreon. So if someone donates on Patreon or if someone donates via charity, um, we can set up our lighting prefix to react to those certain events. I highly recommend linking those accounts when you first set up the application as nothing would be able to communicate properly and you won't be able to get your lights set up properly. We also have the queue section um, where alerts are now to be stacked up in a queue if you receive multiple at once. Um, so if you do receive multiple requests for different uh, for different lighting prefixes or alerts or redemptions, um, you have a nice queue section here too. What we're going to be checking out is called devices. Now this is where we can see our linked devices to Lumia Stream. So this will mean we can test our lighting with this. So as you can see here, we're in Nanoleaf at the moment. Um, we can test our Nanoleaf panels and just check if they're all, all working as they should be. As you can see, they're flashing, so that means they're working as they should. Um, this is definitely necessary before setting up just to make sure all your lighting is working correctly. So the next section we're going to be checking out is called Studio. Now this is where we can make all our lighting prefixes. The first one we're going to be checking out is called Scenes. Uh, this section is where we can add custom colors to certain panels or certain lighting. So as you can see down here, I'm just going to shrink my camera here a bit. So as you can see down here, um, we have our different categories. So here are my hue lights. Here are my nano leaf light panels. They're all numbered as they are right there. Um, we also have our razor devices here. Now this will mean um, if we add uh, hue play one to yellow, uh, that certain light will go yellow. And if we add hue play two to uh, to that pinkish color, um, hue play two will go pink. Um, now if we want to make our nano leaves blue, uh, we can just add some panels there. Uh, we can add some to the pink as well. Uh, we can add another color as well if we just click on add color. So we can pick a color here. We can go maybe pink. Um, we can add maybe another panel to it. And if we click on test, 
um, as you can see, our lights will change. So as you can see, we've got a bit of pink there. We've got a bit of yellow there. Uh, my camera's not picking up too well on the other colors. But so as you can see here, we can customize each individual panel and each individual light, which is a really cool feature. So as you can see here, we are in the animation section. And this is where you can make animated light prefixes um, for, you know, alerts or chat commands. Um, as you can see here, what I've got set up is, um, so if someone donates, you know, 100, 100 bits, um, my lights will go blue. They'll come up as blue. Or let's say someone, you know, donates 25 bits, my lights will go red. So you can just test them out here as you go along. Or maybe if someone subscribes to the channel, we'll have a certain one for that too. Um, so we can have a bunch of different lights here too. So it just makes it a bit more interactive. I really like the animation section. Uh, I pretty much use it for everything. If we want to add an animation, so we can just click up here and click that. So here we go. We have uh, our animation section over here. So this kind of works as like a multi-action um, area. I'll just move my camera down a bit here so we can see what's going on. Um, so we kind of just edit our animation through here. Um, so if we want to add a certain color, maybe we want to start off with, let's say, you know, blue. We can adjust the brightness over here as well. So we can change that to 40%. And we can also, you know, change this too. We can, you know, do a scene, a theme or something we already have set up there. Um, we can add the transition maybe one second. Um, now we're in the light section down here. Um, so we can add custom lights um, for each animation that we pick. So over here, I have my NanoLeaf light panels. They're all numbered over there. Um, I have my hue lights over here too. Um, some of them are named, some of them aren't. Um, my razor device is here as well. But to start off with, we're just gonna add maybe just a couple of panels here, nano leaf panels. Um, we'll add a hue play over there too, um, and we'll save that. So that's gonna go blue. And so that uh, is gonna last, let's, let's, let's give it maybe one second, yeah. So maybe the next one, so after one second, the next animation will play. So this will be the next animation. So what we can do here is we can pick another color. So maybe let's say purple, um, just the brightness, maybe to 50%. Um, let's make the duration the same. So one second, uh, transition can, you know, be, be nice and slow, can be a nice fade. So make that 0 0.6 seconds. Um, we'll go back into the light menu here. Um, we'll add a couple of different other lights to the panel as well. Um, we'll add that one as well. We'll add some of our razor ones. As you can see, we've already got, you know, something going on here. Um, if we want to test it, we can just click on the test button up here. And as you can see, we've got somewhat of an animation. Kind of cool. Um, so it's as easy as that. And you can do some really cool and creative things um, with this section. So the next area we're going to be checking out is under chat. Now this section will allow chat to uh, activate certain colors or certain scenes as we were looking at there before and certain animations. So if we click on uh, general, this is where we can set up the global key to listen to. So I just use that as an exclamation mark. Um, over here we have cooldowns, so people have cooldowns on how frequently they can use the uh, the lighting prefix. We also have uh, restrictions, um, this will deny access to certain people. Uh, we also have the tier list, so this is where we can choose what users in the chat can use certain lighting. Um, so we can maybe set, you know, subscribers to only use these kind of certain lights or these certain animations. We also have points. Uh, so Twitch channel points, so people can uh, use their Twitch channel points to redeem certain lighting effects and certain animations or certain scenes. Uh, we also have colors, so this is where we can set up commands for uh, users in chat to activate certain colors on the stream. So let's say if someone gets banned over here, uh, if we type in exclamation mark banned, our uh, lights will go purple. In scenes, uh, this section is where chat can redeem commands uh, to activate a scene that you made. This one we have here is called reactions. Uh, this would have been in the reaction section in the studio mode, uh, which we didn't cover too much today. Um, the same goes with animation. Um, you can set, uh, set up any, uh, certain animations uh, for Twitch chat to, to trigger as well. Hypes, interactive and themes. Um, all the same ones that were in the studio section, uh, you can add them as Twitch commands. Um, so this is where you would want to do that. So the next one we're going to go into is alerts. This is where we can add certain colors, certain scenes, animations uh, to our alerts. 
So if we click on follows, uh, we can add a certain type of color or certain type of reaction that we're looking for. So we have a choice of reaction, animation, hype, scene, theme. Um, I've added an animation for this instance. Um, the animation I've made was called uh, follow. So when I receive a follow, my lights will adapt to that follow alert. So I've made a custom animation for that, as you can see here. It's the same deal with subscribers as well. The difference here is you can add variations. So you can add a certain uh, custom uh, lighting prefix to a tier one sub or a tier two sub or a tier three sub, or maybe a prime sub. Um, you can add different lights to that. You can also test the animations here to see if they're all working. As you can see, um, I've got one there. Um, if you would like to um, add a variation, it's pretty easy. Um, just give it the name, select this equal to, you know, tier three. Um, you can add an animation, hype, scene, theme, reaction, you can add an animation. Um, we can pick our animation that we want. So the next one we're going to be checking out is bits. Uh, it's the same here as well. Um, the difference with this one is I have a lot more different variations. So let's say if someone donates one bit, uh, my lights will go white. Or if someone donates, you know, 2000 bits, that's like the kind of green color. Uh, my lights will go green. Maybe if someone donates 300,000 bits, which is just ridiculous, uh, my lights will go red as the color shows. Uh, we also have hosts as well. It's the same deal here as well as shown before. We have raids as well. Same situation as well. We can add variations to if it's a larger raid, we can add different colors or if it's a smaller raid, we can add different colors as well too. So the next one we're gonna be checking out is called Thin Gamma. This is Lumia Stream's uh, custom own bot uh, that integrate that can integrate with your chat. So over here, we have a bunch of different responses to certain commands that you may trigger into the chat. Um, so if we turn our Lumia Stream on, it'll say Lumia is on. Um, or if you're changing color, uh, the bot will say changing color. Um, but yeah, you can do quite a lot with this. It just works. It works as a bot. It's a nice little touch that they added that. And we have here is called hotkeys. Um, now this section is where we can add hotkeys uh, to activate certain scenes or certain animations uh, through Lumia Stream as well. So the next one we're going to be checking out is called overlay. Now this is an overlay that you can put onto your OBS that'll show your current color of your lights at that moment. So you can see there's a bunch of different settings here and there's a link up here that you can add to OBS through a browser source. So as you can see here, if we have our lights pinkish purple overlay uh, filter here um, and we can cover the cam, as you can see, it makes me look purple. So it kind of suits the lights. We want to change that around. We can change the uh, opacity of it so we can make it look a little bit less intense. Um, but it's just a cool little thing you can do. Um, at the moment, I only think it works with static colors. It doesn't seem to work with animations quite yet. I hope they do add that feature because that'd be really cool if they put it onto animations. But yeah, just a cool little, uh, cool little thing that you can add to your, uh, to your OBS. So the next feature we're going to cover is Fuse. Now this feature is really cool. So what this feature will do is this can react to whatever video or audio that you may be playing. So let's say if you're playing a video game, your lighting can react to the lighting that's happening in the video game. So it can make it a more immersive experience for the stream. Let me show you how to set that up. So what we want to do, we're going to, we're going to click on video for first. You can also do audio and music, which is pretty damn cool. So first we're going to click on video. We're going to keep that onto normal. You can put it on precise. Um, it might use a bit more of the res your computer's resources, but we're going to select our screen that we're going to be playing our game on. So let's do screen one. We're going to return back to home. When we adjust settings, we always have to return back to home and then this will restart, um, especially when we make changes to the application. Um, we want to go back to the default menu over here and click on fuse. Um, just make sure these settings are on. You can, you can mess around with these ones as well. I've just, these are my settings that I've had on at the moment. Um, so once that's set up, we will return back to home again and then we'll click on. So now we can go, we can go to a video. So let's say this video, this so the video lighting here will adapt to our lighting in the background. So as you can see here, it's gone really bright now. So bright. 
So as you can see, the lighting will change and adapt to uh, what's happening on the screen. So this is a really cool feature that Lumia Stream has um, to make it more immersive for your viewers. The last one we're going to be checking out is called Community. Now this is a new little tab that uh, Lumia Stream have added. It's very recent and it's very cool. I love it very much. So this is a section where the community can add certain colors, scenes, reactions, animations uh, to the application. Um, so if you're a bit unsure about making animations or certain colors that you want for your stream, um, the community's got your back. Um, so as you can see here, we're in scenes. We have a bunch of uh, different effects that we can use. Uh, we can download them pretty easily. We can like them. We can comment on them as well. Um, we also have reactions as well. So we have a bunch of uh, these ones too, uh, which is really, really cool. Uh, we have a dance party, we have light, lightning, uh, some of them are a bit silly, but they're pretty cool. We also have animations, so we can add certain different animations. These can be applied to literally, you know, anything. Commands, alerts, you know, follows. We have a hype one as well, which we could use. Um, so this will react to all of our different lights, which is really cool. So that was kind of an overview of Lumia Stream. As you can see, there's quite a lot um, they've put in this application and they're updating it very, very regularly, pretty much on a weekly basis, which is a really cool thing. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't cover everything because there's so much, um, but we kind of just went through the basics today on what you can do and kind of give you an idea on what you can do with the application, what you can do if your lights. But that was an overview of Lumia Stream. As mentioned before, there's so many features and so many things you could do with this application. I couldn't have fitted it in one video, um, but we kind of just went through a lot of basics of what you can do with the application. But yeah, if you have any smart lights hanging around or spare smart lights that are around that you want to add to your stream, and if you want to add a bit more pop to your stream to make it a bit more interactive, uh, Lumia Stream is an absolutely fantastic application and I use it all the time. Not sponsored by the way, but it's a great application but yeah thank you for watching um if you found this video helpful make sure you leave a like i stream four days a week on twitch where i have these lights up in the background uh, completely interactive so if you want to see them put in use check out the stream but yeah thanks for watching and uh i'll see you all next time adios